when you're working with VBA and you are a beginner, it is pretty frustrating when things do not work out the way you hope that they'll work out. So uh, a number of emails have come my way over the last few years relating to this specific file, file number 78, and I just want to take you through some of the processes that I would go through to see if I could identify the error and fix it. So error debugging is a critical skill when you want to get started on coding projects. So here we are, we have a piece of code here and what it does is it takes the search value which is in cell B2, it looks in column B of the sheet and any records that match that search value it copies and pastes here. And so what should happen is that you get a bunch of records returned and if you choose a different name it finds the appropriate records as well. So really a slick piece of code, checking row by row, identifying a match and copying and pasting. I haven't used a key line of code which stops the screen flickering and the reason I didn't use it is because it can be quite nice to see what is happening. The other way to see what is happening is to use breakpoints and the F8 key. So if you are on a PC then the F8 key is something you can use to step through code. So firstly putting a breakpoint in. If I click into the margin here next to the code, for example here, it puts a red dot in the margin and it highlights the cell range red. When I click play to run this code, which I can do from in the window or I could hit this black button here, the code runs but it stops when it gets to that breakpoint. And if I hit F8 on the keyboard now, it advances one line of code at a time. So the line of code that was just executed was to clear the contents of last search. Now what it's going to do is select the database sheet when I hit F8 one more time. The next thing it's going to do is identify what the final row number is. And then it's going to start the loop. So if I just quickly hit F8 a number of times, we will see this yellow highlighted piece of code bounce row by row and then restart the loop. And so if it does not find a match, it jumps directly to the end if line of code. If it does find a match, it executes all the code in the middle. Here we are, we have found a matching line. So it is now copying. We can see row 17 has got the uh, dots around it showing that it has been selected and copied. And it's pasting it into row 5, which is the first available row on the next sheet. Back to the original data sheet and then restart the loop again. So the F8 key and breakpoints are really amazing if you are trying to watch and see what is going on with your code. What I'm doing here on my computer screen is great as well. I've got a big enough screen that I can have the code window showing on half the screen and the spreadsheet itself on the other half of the screen so I can see it all in action. So that's the first little trick when you are trying to learn how to debug your code. The next few things that I want to show you are just other little hints, but they all, they all come after the use of F8. Alright, I'm going to click stop up here on the toolbar because the code's halfway through, so I need to stop it before I can go any further. Problem number one. Athlete name should be a string. If I define my variables wrong, it doesn't matter how I define them, but if I get it wrong and I try and run the code, we get an error and if I hit debug it takes me to the row of code where the error is 
and so it is trying to write the value of the cell and we can see when we hover over it what the value is but it can't do it because we've defined it as a range so problems can be through not defining your variables correctly in this section of code here we've got a really critical piece here which is to identify where the final row is if I use just the keyboard shortcut here over on the left side and we go down we can see that the last row of data is row 543 now what this piece of code is doing is it's going to the absolute bottom of the spreadsheet that's what this piece of code is doing then it's going up and then asking what row number it is in so if I want to go up from where I am now I click control up arrow when I hit control up arrow it stops at A543 and that's what it writes as final row now because I have a 1 here it is doing this process in column 1 but if I got that wrong you can see column M here which is 13 if I put a break on run the code final row is still 0 at this point because we haven't run the line yet but if I hit F8 it runs the code and it tells us that final row is 1 that's obviously not very good because we're already starting at row 2 and the final row is row 1 the other key I can use here is the F5 key that executes the rest of the code in one go so I've hit F5 we've got no search records and that's because final row was before the start row so as you'd expect nothing comes from that if I correct this again and go back to the correct answer actually anything under row 12 would have worked here we could have row 10 and that would also be fine but I tend to find keeping it at row 1 makes sense particularly if you've always got a data value in row 1 I'm back on the report page I'm going to choose one of the names quite near the top and launch the code final row is still 0 hit F8 it now tells me that final row is 543 something you can do as you are going through the code is to hover over pieces of the code to see what the value is if I hover over final row here it tells me that it's 543 if I hover over the I it tells me that it's currently at 0 when I hit F8 and the loop begins I will be 2 because we've told it to start at row 2 if I advance through I is now 3 didn't find a match so it immediately jumps to the end goes to the next I I is now 4 and so on so if you're trying to see where it's up to and what it's doing you can hover over it you can hover over athlete name and you can see what the athlete name is if I now hit F5 it'll execute to the end of the sequence and pull out all the matching rows so while the code is running if you have it paused by using these blockers and the F8 key you can hover over it and see what's happening if you click on view inside the VBA editor you can choose the immediate window the immediate window is a little bit advanced but uh, we're not going to do anything super advanced with it so it's just really to point out something that can be useful I'm going to add a line of code here and this line's not going to do anything to our spreadsheet I type debug print alright I'm just inserting that line of code and it is going to happen every single time the loop runs 
We'll see what it does in a second. Change the name to Eric. Run the code. It stops at our blocker. Final row is zero. Hit F8. Final row jumps to 543. And now the loop is about to begin. Now when this line runs, we're going to hit F8 in a second, it will print the name in the current row, column 2, to this immediate window. Like so. And the value of this is just to be certain that it is reading things correctly. So if you swear black and blue that you've got all your code working, but it's still not producing anything, you might just have got something wrong here. So to be able to use this debug print just allows you to check a critical piece. And really what it's going to check is this little piece here. If we know what athlete name is, and we can see that our name here matches it, then we can be confident if the code doesn't run that we've got something wrong.